someone does something to show appreciation to veterans. It's, everyone can stop and say thank you, yeah. Hi guys, Christina Weber here, and I am with a very, very special human being. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is Military Appreciation Month, and I wanted to feature some very important people in my life or in the fishing industry and just around town that we need to appreciate. Nolan's one of them, and I met Nolan working one day. I asked him how he was doing, and his response was, live in the dream which is really cool. You don't meet a lot of people who instantly have this positive, like, I'm living the dream. Like, it doesn't matter. It could be raining, storming. He's always living the dream. And that really hit home with me. And I wanted to know more. Who is this guy that's living the dream? What is he doing? What's his story? And I come to find out that Nolan has just moved to Florida and he was in the Marines. He served in Iraq and Afghanistan. And I want to do feature him and we want to talk about him. So here's his story, a little bit about what he did, what brought him to Florida, and why we should be super thankful for everything that Nolan's done. Well, it's actually quite simple. I wish it was more complicated than that, <laughs> but it's not. But uh, I'm from a small town in southern Indiana called Greenville, which is probably half the size of this lake, had a town population of 600 people, absolutely in the middle of nowhere. But the good news is, uh, it was right outside of Louisville, Kentucky. So to sit there and say that I'm from the country is absolutely true. I grew up hunting and fishing. I grew up playing sports in high school. Uh, I was a jock in high school. And not ashamed to it. Yes. <laughs> and uh, I played football in high school, and uh, you know that's what I did. If I wasn't doing that, I was hunting and or I was fishing. Uh, well, it's only when, fitting that you became a marine, uh, basically. Fast, yeah, that's fascinating. <laughs> Well, uh, as you tell, uh, college was uh, nowhere near in my future with the grades that I had in high school. So uh, I always wanted to be a Marine since I was a sophomore in high school. I wish I could pinpoint it to just what one thing it was or uh, you know one certain moment in time, but it, it's never true. When it comes down to it, when I describe it to people, I just used to you know look up at the uh, posters. I used to see those guys on the commercials, and I just go, uh, I just wanted to be one of those guys. It was really that simple. So I did that, I, uh, which was uh, an experience to say the least. Iraq in 08, Afghanistan in 09. And uh, when I describe the Marine Corps to people, it's the greatest experience uh, that I never want to see again. And uh, I don't mean that in a bad way. I never regret anything I've ever done as far as the military. You know, I still wear their hat, you know, loud and proud. I'm always proud to call myself a Marine. Of course, absolutely. Uh, but, you know, there was a lot of, uh, I, I kind of developed a bad attitude, so to speak, uh, when I was there. It's just, you know, when you're young and uh, everything rolls downhill on you, you're the new guy on the block, you know, you're not having much fun. But uh, a, there was a second lieutenant, uh, well, he just retired now, his name was Captain Smith, actually. And uh, he, said a, he said a real simple quote that uh, really stuck with me. It said, uh, Helmer, we live in a world where if you're not laughing, you're crying. And I found that to be absolutely, I found that to be true in a way. But it stuck with me, it's weird. It so weird. I've always tried to have a positive attitude about things. <laughs> People ask me all the time, why are you moving to Florida? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but. Because it's awesome? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here we are, uh, as a matter of fact, a year ago now. Uh, oh my God, did we meet a year ago? We met a year ago. <laughs> it's our year, it's our one year anniversary. It's our one year anniversary. <laughs> You know, it's and just, this is our first time going fishing. <laughs> uh, I understand. Today. <laughs> Today. Well, we but, you know, it's just weird. I, I guess I just need another adventure in life. So I literally picked up my stuff, threw it in the back of my car, and drove to Kansas City. And uh, about the third day I was here, I uh, walked into a bass pro. Let us to this point. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, fishing is really important to me. And we met I in think. a fishing department. 
and it is Military Appreciation Month, and I, you know, we wanted to take you out fishing and get you on the water. We're actually here at Lake Okeechobee, and this is Nolan's first time, and he did catch a bass today, which was really awesome. We fished really hard. We, <laughs> we had a good we time though. <laughs> so I wanted to know what, like, why fishing? What ties you into fishing? How did that happen? No, it's just something I always used to do as a kid. Uh, you know, my dad. Uh, my dad bought a boat, you know, when I was a kid, so I was almost on a boat. It was never a fishing boat, but I always fished when I was, ever since I can remember. Now, the unique thing about Florida, and I think why we met, is salt water. Yes. Which is, I am still <laughs> learning how to spell. Yeah, I remember. So, that's where you came along, I think. That's thing. what it was, yeah. But I'm still trying to learn how to spell salt water fishing. <laughs> so, that's a whole new kind of world for me. To end this, I want to say thank you. I appreciate everything you've done, and I know a ton of people appreciate everything. Like not only you, but everyone else who has served, who's been involved from the bottom up, you know, for the last years. Um, you know, really, really do appreciate it. And I hope people do thank you. What they do I mean, from the bottom of our hearts is truth. We'll never be able to understand everything that you've done, and we'll never be able to appreciate you as much as we want to appreciate you, but we will do every little thing we can, and if it's just going out to Lake Okeechobee for a few hours to go fishing, those are little things to us that mean, you know, thank you. Like, this is what we can do for you because you've already done so much for us. Yay. All right, first Okeechobee bass. <laughs>